I'm currently standing in the Al Zubara archaeological site. Now, this wasn't always an archaeological site. This was known as Al Zubara village, once home to 6,000 people, and it was the port of a bustling trade of merchants and pearl divers. And they would dock here from neighboring countries and go on their expeditions to find the pearls. And now, it is history. So how did this place become an archaeological site? Let's find out. Al Zubara sits right here on the western coast of Qatar. It's about 70 miles or 105 kilometers northwest of Doha, approximately an hour and a half drive away. And if we zoom into the village, we can see where the site lines the coastline. This is someone's old house in Al Zubara village, and it's believed that this village has been around since at least the 1760s. It was a key site for trade and pearling in the Arabian Peninsula in the 18th and 19th centuries. And if you check out this line, around the village, that was the old wall that protected this settlement. The excavations show a town, wall and towers. Everything that you need to have a good life. There would have been homes, mosques, fishermen's huts, a souk, a harbour, a canal and a cemetery. For years, this remained one of the several busy settlements along the coast. But as the town grew in prominence, external parties, greed, would try and conquer it for their own gain. Al Zubara was attacked several times around 1811. This town was mostly destroyed and the once prosperous settlement fell into ruin. By the early 20th century, it was completely abandoned. Being surrounded by the desert, the ruins of Al Zubara were covered in sand, but that same sand also protected it for us to be able to look at it now as an archeological site. Welcome to Al Zubara Fort. This fort is pretty typical of the Qatari fort style. It's a square shape containing a courtyard and there are three circular towers and one rectangular tower on the four corners. Each tower features battlements from which the occupants could shoot their enemies. The walls are incredibly high and thick to prevent enemies from getting in, but that's not all they do. The walls also help regulate the temperature of the fort, meaning that the rooms are kept relatively cool. And it wasn't until 1938 when the Emir at the time, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Qasim Al Thani, decided to build a fort on top of the remains of the castle that once stood right here. This fort was used by the Qatari military until the 1980s. Once the Al Zubara village was rediscovered and archaeological excavations began, the fort found a new use as a museum about Al Zubara. Here you can explore the artifacts that have been found throughout the Al Zubara's excavations. These all speak to Al Zubara's history as a hub of trading and pearl diving. Al Zubara is such an important site that it became a UNESCO heritage site, Qatar's first heritage site. It is open five days a week, except our weekends obviously, Friday and Saturday are our weekends, but it's totally free. So I definitely recommend that you come out here and really get a sense of the history and get in touch with the nature of Qatar.